Hello, I'm Scott Flowers from Cloud Ninjas, and today we're here to talk about HP Proliant DL360 Gen 6 server memory upgrades. For starters, the DL360 Gen 6 has 18 DIMM slots. It takes one type of memory, ECC registered. You cannot put in load reduced memory as this generation does not accept that technology and will throw errors. So with ECC registered, according to HP spec sheet, you can max out at 288 gigabytes via 1816 gigs at 1600 megahertz. However, we've done some playing around and we found out you can actually max it out with 384 gigabytes via 12 32 gigs at 1600 megahertz. Now the reason you can only put in 12 uh, 32 gigs as opposed to loading it completely up is because this um, specific board as we said has 18 DIMM slots meaning that there are three memory channels per CPU meaning that per memory channel there are three slots and since there are three slots you will run into the rank rule issue with ECC registered memory and the rank rule states you can only put eight ranks per memory channel, meaning that if you put in 32 gigs, all of them are quad rank, so you can only put two DIMMs per channel, which gets you to 12 times 32 gig. All right, well, let's go ahead and open her up, um, and I wanna show you a little bit more, and I will point out the memory configuration and um, show you a little bit more about the channel so that you can understand it when you're loading it up. But before you get into the machine, you need to make sure that you uh, put on your ESD gear uh, so you protect the machine and it's safe from shock. So let's go ahead and get it on. Now that we have our ESD gear on, we are safe to open the machine. First things first, make sure the latch is set to unlock. Simply push the button in and pull the tab up and remove the top. Very simple. Now that we are in, you will notice um, that it's currently loaded with uh, two one gig sticks. So this is uh, very inefficient and uh, very low performing right now. Uh, so. The goal for us is to uh, load it up. We're actually going to put in uh, 16 gig modules. Uh, it's going to be 288 gigabytes with configuration we're building for our customer right now. Uh, but right now it has literally two one gigs, so the performance would be absolutely terrible. So if you were wanting to increase the performance, memory is the best way to do that. Uh, CPUs are so far ahead of the rest of the parts that upgrading the CPUs uh, will, yes, be uh, helpful. But again, it's, uh, it's the modules that will boost the uh, highest performance for you. Um, so I would like to point out a couple of things here. Um, you will notice that there are uh, nine DIMMs per CPU. Uh, again, as we discussed, there are three memory channels per CPU. Each memory channel starts with the white slot. It goes white, black, black, white, black, black, white, black, black. That would be your three channels. Um, and again, this is important because if you were going to uh, max it out with 384 gigabytes, you need to make sure that uh, the third slot, the second black one, is empty all on all, all the memory channels. Um, this goes back to the rank rule that we discussed. Um, this is The rank rule is across all motherboards that accept ECC registered, HP, Dell, Supermicro, it doesn't matter. The rank rule states that you can only have eight ranks per memory channel. And since there are three DIMMs per memory channel for the DL360 Gen 6, you can only put two modules in that are quad rank. So this, this is important for 16 gig 8500 modules, and this is important for all 32 gig modules, okay? This is also important if, let's just say you're not maxing it out and you're only gonna put in 32 gigabytes and you wanna put in say four eight gig sticks or something like this, you would need to put them in uh, your white slots. Okay, this would be very important uh, because if you would put them in the wrong slot, the machine will again throw errors, okay? Um, and if, it's also very simple. If you look, it's very tiny, but if you look on the motherboard, it'll tell you which slot is which, uh, A1, A2, A3, so forth, okay? Um, now we're gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to actually uh, load the server up um, 
and actually do the, the physical upgrade itself. So let's go ahead and start. I won't do all the modules for you. I'll probably just do one channel to show you how easy it is. So first things first, push the tab down. We're going to remove the uh, awesome one gig sticks that are in here right now. We're simply just going to pull both tabs down and pop the module up. And get both tabs down, did I? All right, there you go. And then simply pull the module out. Now we're going to go ahead and pop in some 16 gigs. So one thing I would like to note is when you look at the module itself, there is a key in the middle, also uh, a notch. Um, this key is very important. It is different uh, from a desktop module, uh, a DDR2 module, or the newer DDR4 modules. This is done uh, by the manufacturers to prevent users from accidentally putting in the wrong module in their motherboard and potentially uh, damaging the machine. Okay, So you also want to make sure, because this is uh, not perfectly in the center, you just need to line it up properly, otherwise it will not fully insert. So all this is very simple. You need to push down hard enough to make sure that the clip goes in, but it needs to be gentle enough that you're not damaging the machine. So use force as appropriate. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and fill this channel up for you guys real quick. And the cool thing about this is you can really load a machine up, I mean, in a matter of minutes and really boost your performance. And with as cheap as DDR3 memory has gotten, I mean, realistically, for a couple hundred bucks, you can do a lot to increase the overall performance. Okay, well, I'll stop here now that we have one of the channels uh, completely filled. Um, and then when you're done, let's pretend I was done filling up the configuration. It's real simple. You just put the top back on and close the latch. But before we go, I want to show you a very important key detail that HP has that Dell, Supermicro, and some of the other manufacturers do not have. It's called the HP Insight Kit. And with the HP Insight Kit, you just simply push this out and you will notice on here, there are a bunch, it will light up when the machine is turned on and there are there is basically a key code that will tell you if you have a bad power supply, if the machine has too much heat and is overheating, if you have a bad dim, if one of the fans is out, it literally will tell you and troubleshoot issues for you. It is a very awesome feature. Uh, I'm a very big fan of it. Unfortunately, Dell and Supermicro do not offer this capability, but this uh, Insight Kit is definitely one of the uh, cooler features that the HP uh, series in general have, but the HP 360 Gen 6 definitely has. So anyhow, well, thank you for coming out today. If you have uh, any questions about your DL360 Gen 6 or you're looking to upgrade and you want to quote, feel free to give us a call or email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Well, thanks again for your time and have a great day.